preseason game. The Eagles versus the Browns. At times, that game was hard to watch. It was so many things that happened that was so hard to watch. But everything, everything was not bad. There were so many good things to take away from this game. He's the funniest animal in the world. He's the funniest animal in the world. He's the hottest podcast with your host, Big Hollis. But look, man, let's get into the injury report because I think this was probably um, the most hardest thing to deal with. It was such gruesome sights, you know, that we don't want to see from no team and no member of the NFL, especially the players, nobody, you know, so... We had to see some gruesome things. So let's get into the injury report for the Philadelphia Eagles. Zach McPherson suffered a season-ending injury. He has been sidelined with a torn Achilles. That right there is so sad to see, you know, just watching them dudes like lay there stiff. You know what I mean? Like that's, and these hits be crazy, man. They be looking so crazy, especially when you see the, 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 the head snap and like that, that man that's hard to watch so Zach McPherson is hurt season injury season ending injury he played a major role for this team it was finally his time up you know he'd been waiting and waiting and waiting and, and finally it's his time but he injured himself um, hopefully he, he gets a, a, he, he can have a speedy recovery. Uh, you know we have a, a, a great off season. He end up on the team, and that was, and that's really the turning point for his career. But for us right now, you know who was gonna he was supposed to be that second string slot guy that backs up Maddox. Um, that was his role. That's where we was uh, you know seeing a lot of reports that he was the guy. Uh, and you need an insurance policy at that spot. Who was going to be the guy that steps up, you know, in this role when it's so important? This role is, is, is extremely important. And we got ahead of players in, in, in order and in line because just like the injuries was detrimental yesterday, the injuries are going to continue. Hopefully, ho hopefully not, but it's a part of the game. We know that. Who's going to be the guy to step up, you know, and be in that, that second um, slot role you know especially we've seen a lot of uh scott you see, we seen him uh, he seen we seen him make some plays we definitely know that he can ball you know but sometimes you know he was the guy that was getting picked on so do we have to search for a guy outside his organization or do or is the guy already on the team that's the question we have a lot of depth you know and that's a testament to howie roseman and jeff laurie um, you know, for putting the players in position. Alameda Zacchaeus left with a shoulder injury. He returned, but he but his day was done after that injury. You know, so shout out to him. Hopefully he can have a speedy recovery. Tyree Cleveland and Moro Ojomo was carted off the field. You know, shout out to the medical staff, you know, for being prompt, you know, with the treatment on the field and making sure these guys are safe. You know, football is a dangerous sport, you know, and times like this can be real scary. Like I said, especially when you see these players, man, and they they just lying there stiff. You know, it's, it's things that, you know, no parent, no family member, you know, nobody want to see. So, you know, those moments are scary. But both of these players, Ojomo and Cleveland, both suffered from concussions. But Cleveland also suffered from a neck strain. So we're going to be praying for those guys, man, and hopefully they can make it and, and, and get a speedy recovery, you know, because we want to see those guys on the field. Nolan Smith, man, he was seen grimacing, you know, on the field after he made an amazing play, you know, where he really showed his worth. During the interview, Smith said that he felt good. You know, it almost seems like that injury could be something that he's been dealing with, but hopefully 
he can make a speedy recovery and get back, you know, to what he loves and what he's good at, you know, because he he is a great player. Nolan Smith is extremely dynamic on the field. He's extremely fast. He is going to be a problem for these quarterbacks. I'm still trying to figure out how he make it to 30, but we're so excited to have him here. You know, Smith was so close to so many sacks. He was just making the QB um, feel uncomfortable. You know, Smith moved the pocket and forced the quarterbacks in a bad situation. He really is going to do great things for the Philadelphia Eagles, man. That's just how I feel. We need to make sure that we um, keep him healthy because he is a game changer. He's a look, man, the way he was getting past these uh, offensive linemen and making trouble for these quarterbacks in the backfield. It was ridiculous. It was exactly what we needed to see. And it's exactly what we need on this team. We are 70 sack team. And as long as he is back there in that backfield, he is going to converge on these sacks because that's what he want. And if he don't converge on these sacks, he may move the pocket or push the quarterback into another one of our defenders. And that's amazing. That's that's what we need to see. So shout out to these guys. Um, hopefully uh, Smith can get better, you know, especially, you know, with us being so close to the start of the season. Um, we, we really need that guy healthy. I want to talk about, you know, what we've seen from from Marcus Mariota. Um, Marcus Mariota might not be it. Coach Seriani said that it's too early to tell. But in my opinion, he don't look good. You know, from what we've seen in the first preseason game where he actually was running and moving and he made a few decent throws. I think he was he had seven completions, you know, but this game. Man, he was, like I said, he was throwing the ball high. He was he threw the ball high last, you know what I'm saying, last game. And this 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 game, it was extremely high. It was over our receiver and the defender. You know what I'm saying? Like he was, that thing was a was just way too high. Um he, to me, it seems like he struggles with accuracy. Um, and, and that's that's not gonna be good for us, you know, especially with him. You know, being our second string quarterback, you know, we we went through this last year. We went through this with um, ba uh, what's his name? The mustache mania. You know what I'm saying? We've been through that with him. And it seems like that we either going down that road again. Or we going to end up with somebody that's not even as talented than what we had. Um, I know he's playing with some of the second string players, but he was just off target, man. He was off target and he was dreadful. He was dreadful. You know, I said that I thought that he could be a second um, behind Jalen. But to be honest, man, I like the way Tanner McKee looks. When Tanner McKee got in the game, the offense looked better. We start moving the ball because he was just throwing dipping dots all over the field. You know, he just has a, a good arm. Like he, His arm is strong. You know, he sneaks the football in places where the windows are small. And that's something that's major in this league. And, you know, I don't care how y'all feel about him or, or how a lot of y'all feel about uh, Mariota. But are we going to give Mariota another chance? I mean, I guess we have to because it don't look like we're going to see Jalen anyway. You know, it don't like we're going to see a lot of these star players anyway. In the preseason. So I guess we're going to have to give Mariota another shot and see. But after <laughs> after the next game, I think we played the Colts. After the next game, he, he looked like that. We're going to have to make a move. You know, and that's and that's and that's real rap. That's real rap. I don't care who don't believe in the Kobe Dean, but I do. This kid is smart. He's fast. You know, he makes big plays. You know, he shoots the gap. Look, he erased a whole touchdown, you know, when our backs was against the wall. Look, man, sidebar, I got to say this, man. DTR is the real deal. You know, he looked real good, balls. Like, that kid is going to be something in this league. Um, like, DTR was driving down the field, and we was, our backs was against the wall, and we needed a big play. You know, and it was like, I can almost feel like, man, we, we about to make a really big play. And, um, 
Dean made it, man. Dean shot the gap. Dean, um, he didn't make the tackle, but he definitely put his arms on the ball and made him cough that thing up. Kobe Dean is so talented. You know, he slows down backs, you know, so we can feast from the trenches. You know what I mean? We can do what we do the best. Sack the quarterback and bring down running backs. That's what we do. You know what I mean? I want to talk about Trey Sermons, man, because Trey Sermons had a, a big fumble, you know, and, and his comeback was resilient. You know, he really looked good after he made those mistakes. You know, and that's the type of things that, you know, earn you roster spots. When you, when you, you know, because everybody going, you know, make a mistake, fumble the ball, you know, it, it happens. I've seen the best do it, you know, but, you know, with him to be able to get back to – uh, where he was or where he needed to be and show us that he's actually a good running back because we know that but we definitely need to see it and with the help from you know number one our number one Jalen Hurts he coached him up said look man look you fumbled forget about that basically forget about that worry about the next play and what happened on the next play a 33 yard scamper to the touchdown and it was a great play with great vision so it's not like we're going to continue to sit here and focus on the things, you know, that you did wrong. We got to also focus on the things that you did well. And that run was good. And that run where you fumbled was good, too. You know, you just got to hold on to the ball. Like Nick Sirianni said, you know, you just the vision was there, but you just got to hold on to the ball. So, I, like I said, man, the injuries that I seen was tough. Was, was hard to watch. Marcus Mariota was hard to watch. N'Kobe Dean is as good as we thought he was. He's smart as we thought he was. You know? And Nolan Smith is a dog. A Philly dog. Just like we thought he was. So, man, it's, it's so many things that's bright for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, it's, it's so many reasons why these coaches sit these players, you know, that we invest in, you know, it's not normal. It's not what happened back in the day. Cause you, by this time you probably would have seen your starter play at least a few drives, but Nick Sirianni is, he know how to, how, you know, this game is played and how injuries really kill teams. So it looks like to me that he's going to hold our starters until we go see the Patriots. Look, man, just in case y'all forgot, this is who I am. This is right here. This is what I do. This is the Diamond Crew. But I want to give a shout out to my G's and my OG's. But you already know what to do. But if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like. I need you to comment. I need you to subscribe. I need you to share this. I need you to hit that notification bell so you're always up to date.